Hi everybody, this is Matt McCoy from Loop Community. Today I'm going to show you how to build a worship set in Ableton, but also we're going to talk about building a master loop library in Ableton. I talk to a lot of worship leaders who say that they spend a ton of time every single week building their new worship set for the coming weekend in Ableton. And while you can do that, what I found to be really helpful is to build one Ableton session that has all of your loops and multitracks in it. And that way, every weekend, all you do is you just reassign your controller or whatever device you're using to triggering the loops to the songs that you're actually doing that weekend. And you don't have to spend time re-importing them and adding them and making a new Ableton session every weekend. So let's go and just start here. We're gonna just do a sim very simple setup. I've got two tracks. I've got a track called Cues for my band Cues, and I have a track called Loops. And over in the file browser, I have all of my loops that I've downloaded from Loop Community. And uh, let's go and just start dragging them in. So I'm going to open up Always. And I'm going to drag the Q file into the Q slot. And I'm going to drag the Loop file, which is stereo here, into the Loop slot. The Split file here would be really good if I was using an iPod, because the click is on the left and the loop is on the right. But we're not going to use that for this. So let's do another song, Forever Rain. We'll put the cues here and the loop here. And then what you also want to do is go ahead and rename these scenes to what the songs are. So scene one will be Always. And then I'm going to right-click rename the next one to Forever Rain. And we also want to put the BPM in the song scene. So um, I'm going to right-click and go to Edit Launch Tempo. And I know what the BPM is because in the file name it says right here. It says always key of B, 69 BPM. So I'm just going to type in 69 and hit enter. Let's do the same for Forever Rain. Edit launch tempo. Forever Rain's at 83. Hit enter. Okay, let's do another song. From the inside out. We'll drag the cues in. Put the loop in. And... We'll go ahead and rename this from the inside. And I'm just going to do a semicolon this time. It's another way to do it. And then just type it in 70 BPM. And we'll do one more. Let's do holy. Drag the cues in. Drag the loop in. Rename. Holy, semicolon, 72 BPM. Great. Another thing I like to do is I like to color code these um, because it just makes it a lot easier to see um, the different songs. You know, all those different colors can get kind of confusing. So I'm just selecting both of the clips, right clicking, and then changing the color. And when you're making a master loop library, this is very helpful because in my session, I've got hundreds of these songs up and down and all my loops are in this entire um, Ableton session and the colors really help to kind of you know separate things make it easier to see so we're gonna delete some of these we don't need all those and then so what you want to do is so I like to sort these alphabetically so you can click and move these around however these are actually already in alphabetical order which is nice okay so you can sort them now, let's just say, what if you wanted to actually do a multi-track in here? So, what we're going to do is, let's find a multi-track. I've got one for Happy Day. So, I'm going to drag the cues here. And then I've got all these other tracks. So, what you can do is, I'm going to hold Shift and select all these tracks. And then, hold Command to get rid of the cue file. I don't need that one. And I'm going to click and drag. And you'll see that Ableton's going to want to try to drop these in vertically. But to drop them horizontally, if you hold the Command key, you can drop them horizontally. And I'm going to drop it right here. And you can see what it's going to do is it's actually going to make audio tracks for all of those clips, which is very helpful. And then just to be organized, I'm going to select all those tracks, right-click, and go to Group Tracks. And I'm going to rename this group to multi-tracks. So inside of this group is where I'm going to keep all of my multi-tracks. And that just helps, you know, organization is everything here. 
That just helps keeps keeps things clean. So all my multi-tracks are in this group. And all my loops are over here. Cues for every song are going to be here. Let's go ahead and change the color for all these. This is Happy Day at 140. You can also edit the time signature in here, which is nice. So edit launch time signature. This is telling the metronome what time signature to use. We're going to use 4-4. Four, four. So if you had a song in 6-8, you know, that's very helpful. Let's close this out. Um, you can also change the color of these track titles. Mix it all clean. Let's go and try this out see what it sounds like. I'll turn my Intro metronome two, on. Three, four. Cool, and then from the inside out. Intro two, three, four. Intro two, three, four. Great. So I've got my master loop library kind of in the works here. I would just keep adding all of my songs in here, and it might seem like, wow, that's going to take a lot of time. Well, it might at first, but. Once you have it all set up, you never have to import these songs again. All you do is now on the weekend, I come in, I'm going to use a key command here. Let's just say our first song is Happy Day. Then I'm going to click on Happy Day. Hit 1. Say our second song is Always. I'll hit button 2 on my keyboard. And our last song is Holy. Button 3. And then I'm ready to go for this weekend. And then let's just say it's the next weekend. I go back into key command, delete all these, and start over. Forever Rain is song one, Holy is song two, and let's say from the inside out is song three. That way, I never have to like remake an Ableton session. I'm just reassigning commands. So let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to go to File, Save Live Set, and we're going to save it. I'm going to call it Master Loop Library. Great. Hopefully that gets you get started as you're building your own Master Loop Library in Ableton.